Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the liberation of Mosul from the Islamic State the other week was a major victory for the Iraqi people and for the United States, which supported the operation. But to achieve victory in our broader mission of destroying radical Islamic terrorism and keeping the American people safe, we must confront some tough questions about the road ahead. As chairman of the task force on denying terrorist entry into the United States, I'm concerned uh, about the degree to which jihadists and foreign fighters threaten our homeland and our ability to meet these threats. We know that Iraqi fighters are concealing their identities and fleeing with groups of refugees, many to Europe. These returning fighters have learned to make dangerous weapons, have gotten battlefield experience, and are successfully training young people susceptible to radicalization. We know our visa waiver program, which allows many European citizens to travel to the U.S. without a visa, provides a window of opportunity for these determined terrorists to exploit. Confronting these threats lies in our ability to quickly and effectively vet and screen travelers, share sufficient intelligence with our allies, and act on credible threats when identified. And the threats are real. Between 100 and 250 ideologically driven foreigners are thought to have been smuggled into Europe between 2014 and 2016. These foreign fighters pose a greater threat to the West than ever before. And for the sake of our national security, it's a threat we cannot overlook, and it's a threat we must work together to confront. Nothing can be put ahead of the safety and security of the homeland. Thank you.